very good morning to one and all. Now these views that you are looking at from inside the wedding chapel will introduce my video for this week. My usual thanks to all people who view my videos. Thank you very much. You're very, very kind and good to this channel and also one and all who helped me make these videos, meaning all the businesses, etc. Well, it's been a, a very difficult week due to the weather, but I've done my best and I know that it seems to be OK for you. I'm quite pleased with it and I hope that you enjoy it yourself. So I'm going to get on with it now, thanking one and all very much for what everybody does for this channel. Bye bye. Enjoy. I'm back. Yes, after two days, constant rain and drizzle. Monday and Tuesday, you join me on the compounded beach this Wednesday, the 9th of February. And it's from here that I can open up this week's video. Yes, this is the first footage of this week's video due, as I said, to the awful Monday and Tuesday. Now, obviously, oh, that's the North Pier there. I'm going to get on with it as I've got a lot to do today. I'm going to enjoy every second of it and I hope that you do as well. So as said, we're back. On walking past the North Pier, I was called. It was Martine, the manageress of this North Pier. And she was kind enough to tell me that this opens up this coming Saturday, the 12th of February, for two weeks. The reason being it opens up for two weeks is the school children are on holiday. It's half term. So this pier, as said, opens up this coming Saturday, the 12th of February, including the Blooms Bar. It, this will be so good to see this pier open for the two weeks. I'm looking forward to it. It is a very important and very significant day here for the tram works. In front, you will see members of Blackpool Council, Blackpool Transport, and their surveyor and members of CISC. CISC have overseen all the works on the tram lines. Now, they've met up today. CISC are showing and explaining to Blackpool Council and Blackpool Transport the workings of this highly sophisticated program that will control all the workings of the points and the traffic lights so as Blackpool Transport can teach their drivers of the trams. I'm so lucky to get this clip. I'm now going to take you right the way down to the North Pier to start this clip off all about this tram line. This morning I will be concentrating on the tram lines. Now in front is where you will be going if you arrive from Fleetwood. Now I must explain something quickly first of all. All these videos I make are done at hobby level. Some of the information I pass on, the technical parts of it, it may not be correctly right. But as said, all these videos are produced at hobby level. So it's nearly right, but not quite right. Now opposite is the Premier Inn. Now just to remind everybody of what's going on here, you will see that raised curb. There we are, there's the raised curb with the yellow lines. Now this is the one and only tram stop before it gets to the actual 
North Shore Railway Station. All this area here that has the yellow lines painted, that is the tram stop and it's the only one. I will see you at the top end of Talbot Road in a couple of minutes. In the background is the build of the holiday in itself and this is one of the entrances to Mark Ellis. Now what you are about to see and hear is information that was passed to me just one hour ago from kind contractors of SISC. Now in front you will see two small squares in the road itself. Well under those two small squares are very important sensors. I'm told they're called PPIs, Points Positioning Information. Now I'm going to do my best to explain here. Now this is the traffic lights here on the pole itself. Now what I'd like to show you is the circular, circular actual disc adjacent to the green traffic signal lights. Now that's the most important one here. That will show the tram driver what area he will be taken to to arrive at the North Shore tram station itself. Yes, what I found interesting is that I thought the trams would only go one way. The platform obviously has two sides, one left and one right. Well, this clever computer system handles everything. The sensors from this road area here will be passed to that white cabinet that we saw last week. I'm going to take you there. Everything is technology now, everything. Just going to go back to those traffic lights and the tram driver will see on that circular one where the green light would be. That will tell the driver if he's going to the left platform or the right platform. Let's go across now the road and take up further information. That's it. That's the one we want right adjacent to that green light. We have crossed the road and now we view here from our usual viewing position. The still works going on in between the tram lines. The final works being carried out. Now we're going to meet up now with that white cabinet which we saw last week. It's now right in front of you. That white cabinet which is very important. However, it works in conjunction with the larger black cabinet that you see in front now. Yes, they work together. The black one taking over from the white one. And then all the points are changed. The traffic lights are changed to red to allow the trams to leave and enter this area here of the North Shore tram station. So this is it now in the hands of technology. Very well done to one and all. Marvellous, absolutely marvellous. With a final look at these two very important cabinets, the black one and the white one, this will conclude our visit today all about the tram works at the build of the Holiday Inn and the tram station within. We are now outside one of the many entrances of the Hounds Hill Shopping Centre. That's the Sea Breeze Cafe and the promenade right down the end there and turning the camcorder completely around we will see the entrance of Abingdon Street Indoor Market. Now what I would like to show you is just a few doors along. Can you remember that shop I showed you with a very large rental amount? Really large, a tremendous amount. Well that was slashed 
to £24,000 per annum. Can you remember? Wonderful news. It has been taken. Somebody's taken. Somebody's taken it. And we know the person who's taken this, but we can't show it until they've moved in. We will be welcome then. It's all secret squirrel stuff. So we will look forward to this when they move in. We will now visit the build of the cinema complex and the Wilco store. And we're just approaching now our usual safe viewing area. Oh, quick look. Can you see the white excavator on the left hand side? It's dropping a cage down into that big trench. Can you see it? The white excavator on the left hand side. Oh, that's marvellous. Actually to see a cage all being dropped down into a trench. And in front, there's another excavator. That's at work hard here. That's that's really working hard taking all that ground out making other trenches beautiful sunny afternoon here at this build so lucky to get that first part of this clip with that cage that rebar cage all being dropped down all oh, the phones ringing I can hear a phone ringing Oh, and there's that large hole we saw last week. That's been overfilled for the moment. Oh, here comes security. He's just answered the phone. Now, what has happened here is the security have opened up the gates as, it, as that phone call was from a concrete lorry driver yes that driver has contacted the security here to open the gates so he can enter and this is the first of six lorries that is expected here today at this build which now concludes our visit we'll just see it enter and as said this concludes our visit here today to this build hundred and fifty yards down there on the left hand side would be the entrance of the winter gardens and we have arrived now at what used to be I believe it was called the East Street car park now this is very interesting and very new you will see in front of you mounds of very big and heavy concrete slabs all in the mound there now they are awaiting arrivals of porter cabins which will be simply placed on top of them and inside those porter cabins will be a fully fitted containing everything that is necessary all surgical equipment necessary to open up this temporary clinic i'm told this will be a very quick process indeed because all that's got to be done is for all the cabins to be joined together. So when the cabins arrive, I will bring you back. Very, very interesting indeed. So if you've got anything wrong with your teeth soon, you will be able to come here. I'll keep you in touch with what is happening. A visit to our principal and secondary viewing area at the build of the Holiday Inn. Now we're just in time to see the tower crane lift up internal wall panelling here. There it is. Oh, and there's a there's a transporter just turning round here. Oh, so we're lucky. We've seen the we've seen the tower crane at work, and now this fair sized transporter has arrived 
more panelling inside, more more metal panelling for the walls inside there. Now, oh, I see. Now, at this site and most sites, the drivers have to reverse in with their transporters. And I will tell you, it fascinates me how these drivers can handle these transporters in reverse fashion. Look at that. First go, and this huge transporter will find its way into the site itself of this holiday inn. Yes, it's, it's virtually fully in now. Now we can have a look now at the build. There's the four stories and I'm pleased to show you that those two or three sections on that side elevation, they have now been placed. There we are. All this side elevation now of the four stories all been placed and all finalised. And also that big transporter safely inside the build here. Oh, now these will have to be placed as the gate won't close because of the length of that transporter but this gate will so that's why the barriers are being placed this gate could be closed but the other one all the barriers will do the job now moving away from our secondary viewing area we now find ourselves at our principal now in the background there you probably won't see it but that's the platform for the trams and I'm told that just two small areas either side of the platform remain to be paved that's all that needs to be done here so with these views and also please remember we learned a lot this week about the tram lines so again as said with these views this closes our visit today to the build of the Holiday Inn and a final view of it as well. Saturday the 12th of February 2022 A joyous day in Blackpool. So many attractions open up for the next two weeks due to the children all being on half-term holidays. None more so important than the three peers and this is the North Pier which has opened its gates to the public for the first time in the year 2022 and we can see team members of the bar here preparing this to be opened for the first time in the year 2022 and moving around we can even see the very well liked and very good organ player he's here for the next two weeks as well let's have a look at his keyboards there we are and a quick look at the plant overlooking him our first walk along the pier this year and a glance at the Irish Sea in, shall we say, a playful mood. There's a strong wind, however, as said, the Irish Sea just, just on, shall we say, in a playful mood. We're going to Blooms now. While we wait for Blooms to open, I will tell you that the gardens, which is next door, 
this bar will not be opening these next two weeks. But Blooms is. Blooms just opened up. And what more could you ask for than three smiling team members? Oh, look, and, and a wave as well. Oh, well, that's excellent. That's, that's an added bonus for us. Now, I will take everybody around for a tour of this marvellous bar of blooms at the end of the North Pier. Perhaps you haven't been inside. So very basically, it's named after all these high class artificial flowers. Hence the name Blue. Beautifully fitted out. Tables and chairs, a beautiful carpet. Plenty of space and also the wonderful view of the sea and the promenade itself. I'm taking you to a window now and look, you can see the pier. I mean Blackpool Tower. There's the sea. A great place for a drink. I'll be taking you to the other two piers later on next week or the week after. So that's our visit and a long shot view of inside of this great bar known as Blooms at the end of the North Pier. With this view of the pier itself, peering out to the Irish Sea again, this is where I would like to thank one and all who has viewed this video. And this will, this will close the entire video up. So I will see you next time. A goodbye. Goodbye to you all.